type one fibers are the uh, aerobic fibers. So men and women have virtually like the same percentage of type one fibers and type two fibers. But in women, our largest muscle fibers tend to be the type one aerobic fibers. And men, the largest fibers tend to be the type two anaerobic, the, like the fast twitch fibers. So what this results in is that men have more power like with, with the fast switch fibers. So when we look at like just raw muscle strength, a woman is typically going to have, depending on like the study, the range that's reported is um, 40 to 75% the strength of a man. And if you have, like we can close that gap a little bit. If you're like a, a well-trained woman, like you've strength trained a lot, yeah, you can get to about 70% the, the upper body strength of a man and 80% the lower body strength of man. But we're not going to, especially if we're talking about like well-trained men and well-trained women, like we're not gonna be equal. When it comes to sports where raw strength matters, I, I think it's very important that we have separate men's and women's divisions.